close your eyes and get ready to be scared. Very, very scared. It's a dark, cold night and the wind is really starting to whip up. You have just finished trick-or-treating with your friends and they have all gone home now to their lovely, warm houses. You, however, have decided to carry on by yourself. Just one more house. You take a path you wouldn't normally take, but tonight, for some reason, you take this path. The path is very badly lit and a bit creepy, but you keep going. The trees have no colour because it's so dark. They are just creepy shapes looming out at you. Even the path you walk on is giving a strange hollow sound as your feet crunch along the gravel. The wind whistles through the trees and it has a very eerie sound. It's as if someone is quietly whispering your name. As you walk along, you begin to hear strange noises in the distance. Listen. What can you hear? Are you really hearing these noises? Or is it your mind playing tricks on you? You start to feel a bit panicky and quicken your step. And your heart starts to beat more quickly. The palms of your hands become very sweaty and you don't like this feeling at all. You feel very uneasy. And you start to feel scared and very alone. You are alone. Because you're so scared, you start to run. And you run very quickly, so quickly that you are crashing into branches on the trees. Your feet begin to slip on the gravel path and you fall. Now you are really scared. You pick yourself up as fast as you can and continue to run. Your heart is pounding in your chest and your breathing is very loud and laboured and you're finding it hard to catch your breath. Eventually, you reach the end of the path. You stop to look where you are, but you don't recognise anything. You don't recognise where you are and you don't know what to do. All you can do is keep walking and hope you find your way home. You keep moving quickly, but it's dark and it's cold. And you think you hear footsteps behind you. Oh God, what do you do? You look around you and in shock, you realize that you are in the middle of a graveyard. You didn't even know there was a graveyard around here. The tombstones are like giant figures, all watching you. And you feel as if there are eyes all around you. You can hear crunching sounds getting closer to you. You can hear rustling in the bushes. What is that sound? Is it an animal? Is it something else? You see a light up ahead and run towards it. And as you get closer, you see it's a house. 
you realize it's the old abandoned house. The ones your friends told you about. The house you were never supposed to go anywhere near. Panicked, you run towards it anyway. You run up the steps on the porch and bang on the front door. Nothing. As you bang a second time, the door opens by itself. But because you are afraid, too afraid, to stay outside, you enter the house. The hallway is long and narrow, with doors either side. You hear the crackling of a lit fire and turn towards the sound, but you are unsure where it's coming from. You see a dim light coming from beneath one of the doorways and shadowy figures appear to be lurking all around you and you feel threatened by this. This is one creepy house. Now you realize exactly what your friends were talking about when they told you not to go near it. It's too late now. There's no turning back. You open the door where you think the fire is and the shadows are worse in here. You keep seeing movement out of the corner of your eye and the only light you have is the glow from the dying fire. You step inside the room and move towards the only warmth there is, the glow of the fire. The door suddenly slams behind you and you are certain you can hear sinister laughter, but you don't know where it's coming from. You are unsure of everything now, and you are very afraid. And you don't know what to do. You see a shadow move very quickly across the room, then another and another. You hear noises all around you. You run to the door and turn the handle, but nothing happens. You keep pulling the handle, twisting it and turning it, but still nothing happens. You start to cry. You turn backwards, back towards the fire, and as you do, you trip over the edge of the rug. You hear something while you are down on the floor, and it's coming from under the rug. You lift the rug, and you see a trapdoor. The sound you hear sounds like someone crying. You want to help, even though you are afraid. And you know you can't leave whoever is crying. So you open the trap door. All sounds suddenly stop. The silence is deafening. You look deep into the darkness below. And you call out, but you receive no answer. As you look, the fire in the room grows dim and then goes out completely. You're in total darkness. You feel something grab your leg and start to pull you down and you desperately try to hold on, but it pulls you down into the basement. The trap door slams shut. A long, long time ago, there was an old abandoned house and it was said that someone had gone missing while out exploring near the old house. But no one ever knew who this was. But you know who this was. It was you.